All righty. Uh, you're looking at the pin block here closer to you and in the little bit behind that, the soundboard on a Steinert Grand. Um, you can do a search on Steinert. They're, they're nice little pianos and actually copies of Steinway. It's an interesting history on these pianos. Um, you can actually go to uh, Steinert's website. Steinert was a retailer, a piano retailer, and um, if I remember correctly, he began his business in the 18, late 1850s. But uh, in any case, he, he formed a real nice company and uh, actually got into the production of pianos for a time. And Steinert was his uh, premium line. Uh, he's strictly a Steinway, or the company is strictly a Steinway retailer now, which they've been all along. But uh, they sold these next to Steinways for some time. And it's it's interesting that uh, um, it was okay with Steinway to do so because these pianos are so similar to Steinway in many ways. But in any case, back to this particular piano. It's five foot one, so it would be like the Steinway S. Same size, dimensions uh, pretty much identical. Uh, even the plate and some of the other stuff is some of the cabinet parts are spot on for Steinway parts. Um, but uh, I had uh, someone uh, comment, make some comments, and co had questions about the soundboard repair. I posted in some previous videos, and I'm actually about to go through the same process on this piano and the soundboard restoration. Although this piano uh, does not have the issues that. Uh, the piano that they commented on had, which was the Crack Hour. So if, if you're not familiar with that, just do a search on Beaver's Piano TV and uh, you'll find the Crack Hour Grand piano. And I go through a little series of videos on what I did to repair the soundboard. On this one, uh, I'm getting ready to um, strip the finish off of it. I'm going to scrape it instead of using a chemical to remove it. Um, the piano, uh, uh, there's another piano that I just posted some videos on, a Chickering Grand actually was doing for a rebuilder. Uh, he used a stripper to strip his. I've, every once in a while I use a stripper, but most of the time I don't. Uh, I tend to scrape them instead. But uh, in any case, if you look at this, you there's no cracks. You really don't see any cracks, but I'm going to go ahead and um, I'm going to put some low heat on it to uh, see if I can open up something. Now here, it looks like something peeking through here. So uh, I've checked under the piano and uh, probably should have given you guys a shot at what I saw under the piano. The ribs are intact. I mean, this piano's in pretty good shape. The ribs are intact. There's nothing loose there. There's another one that uh, just at a joint in the soundboard where the, the pieces of board, when they were making the board put together, there's a joint there that um, developing. But it's not even all the way through, just the top side. So I don't even know if that's going to open up anymore when I get some heat on it to dry the board out. But I'm going to do it anyway. And uh, that is about it. Um, now, I will... I'll get my scraper out here and show you. Um, and I've done this on another video, but I'll, I'll show you again what I do. And there's the scraper there. It's a real good scraper. Um, there's the name of it. Banco, made in Sweden. Very good scraper. Um, and it takes the paint right off. And it um, doesn't leave any mess. Usually, when you use the uh, chemicals, you, you got a mess to clean up. With this, you have some dust, but uh, dust and uh, um, some vacuuming, but that'd be about it. So, I'm going to put on my glove here. The reason I've got one glove on, but the reason I'm putting this other glove on is uh, around here, when you get around these bridge pins, if you're not careful, 
you can scrape the knuckles up pretty easy and ask any rebuilder that's worked on these pianos and they will tell you real quick to be careful and it does not feel good those things are kind of sharp but in any case um it's pretty straightforward with scraping just like anything uh, i'm going to scrape with the grain and uh granular wood you see the grain of wood in this direction, so I'm going to just scrape it in this direction. And it'll be a little bit easier for me with two hands, but I'm holding the camera with one. But you see paint coming off there. And uh, let's see if I can put a little more pressure on it. This is going to be a little bit more resistant, some good finish on here. But uh, I'm going to turn the camera off and go ahead and get some scraping done. And um, I'll clean up the bridges here. And they don't need any repair. They're in great shape as well. So I'll clean those bridges up, scrape the soundboard, get a little uh, heat under it. And I'll show you that step here uh, when I get to that point. And uh, we'll, we'll see if we can open up any cracks or anything and we'll make the repairs on them and uh, just keep an eye out uh, you know, if you got want to see some more videos Beaver's Piano TV on YouTube.com um, any comments the quickest way if um, if you really want to get an answer quick the quickest way is um, to respond via Twitter at twitter.com at Beaver's Piano uh, otherwise just post a comment there um, on the video you're watching right below the screen and I usually get to it in a day or two and um, um, I've got a, a forum pianos.proboards.com you can check that out uh, put some technical stuff there um, I haven't posted anything there in, in uh, some weeks but uh, when I get some time I'll be uh, getting some more stuff on there as well so thanks for watching and uh, if you have any comments or anything uh, Feel free to pop those down there right below the screen or, or uh, any of those other ways. Thanks much.